Hello and happy gaming everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and we do have a fair a fair and square winner for the hero clad in green poll and it would be good old Link. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. He's definitely he's he's one things like, you know, game FAQ's best video game character. I mean, people love themselves some Link, so I should not be surprised at all that he won this little this little mini contest. I next time I do one of these, I think I'm gonna actually set up a straw poll, and assuming anyone still uses those, and we'll do it that way. So that got me to thinking. Okay, well, a green robe is obvious. I already had it figured out. I'm gonna use pardon me. I'm gonna use pace for Link, and we'll use tempo for Luigi. All right, that's easy enough. How do I sim How do I simulate Link's gear? Well, here's what I came up with. Link has a lot of really interesting and iconic pieces of gear, but the ones that show up in just about every game are Master Sword, Bombs, Bow, Boomerang. And those are enough of a staple that they're even still there in Breath of the Wild, even when basically nothing else is. So, here's how I simulate those. The Master Sword is going to be played by... <laughs> the role is going to be played by Frostblades, hence why I'm still using the Chrono Glove. Bombs are going to be played by the... what is this called? It's called Magma Rush, but I'm never going to remember that, so just, you know, Magma Mines. There you go. <clears throat> Mentis Imperium is going to be playing the role of the Hero's Bow. And then for the boomerang, we'll just we'll use cyclone boomerang, and we'll just say it's the gust boomerang. Now, I'm not going to impose on myself any restriction on what relics I pick up. I am going to have to, tr at least in my own mind, justify justify picking up any other arcana to see if I can see if it can be a Legend of Zelda tool. Unfortunately, the one that's kind of right out is the hook shot, because if I want the if I want the hook shot, I need to be able to like the only thing I can think of off the top of my head that does hook shot is Mortal Coil, and I would need to have taken the Insignia of Legend with me in order to be able to get that. So, without further ado, let's travel across the land of Hyrule, Wink, and see see what we can get done. Yeah, look at that Sword of Evil's Bane getting work done. Oh yeah. What do we have here? Um, Antiquated Tabby. You know, actually, I think Super Carrot Cake, just because it's showing up so early, is might uh, might actually be something worth taking. But Antiquated uh, Antiquated Tabby is going to work out well for me, just because because it already I already have a boosted evade chance that will just boost it even further. There we go. Ooh, what do we have here? God, I want Bouncing Surge. I... I want Bouncing Surge, but I need to be able to... I need to be able to link it to a Legend of Zelda item before I can pick it up. Now, that's a no-brainer. That, obviously I picked that up. What can Bouncing Surge be? Come on, knowledge of Zelda games, don't fail me now. My brain is very clearly going, Come on. <clears throat> You won't be able to do this. You're not good enough. Oh yeah, brain? 
Watch me work. I'll find a way to justify bouncing Surge. I just have to go and maybe uh, maybe go through some obscure titles, that's all. That in and of itself is kind of the problem, though. Because some of the most obscure titles don't do anything original with the series. Like, even if I go so far as to use, like, the Wand of Gamelon or Faces of Evil, the problem is those don't do anything original with the series. Like, Philips managed to get Nintendo to release their iron grip on their IP for a moment, and what do they do with it? The most laughable the most laughable cutscenes and ideas of any Zelda game, you know, period. All Philips managed to do is reinvent why Nintendo won't be working with them anymore. Bam! I thought I saw Taffy over here. How you doing, big boy? So, I'm really not sure I'm going to be able to do this. Yeah, when you run into Taffy early, it's just... You are, you're going to have a difficult time, you know, busting the pinata this early in the in the run. So unfortunately, probably gonna have to let that one go. All right, come on, brain, work with me here. Actually, you know what? No, let's just leave that. Alright, Mentis Imperium getting work done. Thank you, my friend. Unfortunately, I can't leave you alive. If I do that, you may tell people. I'll just let you two fight it out and I'll just watch. Nice. All right. All right. So I guess somewhere, somewhere between the Cherry Seven Up and and my recent, my recent, my recent fruit pie snack, we are going to have all sorts of all sorts of gas problems, I guess. Okay, you guys are making me mad now. There we go. Got it. Alright, now before I'm uh, before I go on, let me just real quick here. Don't worry, I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to pick it up if I can't cheat, but or if I, I'm not going to pick it up and you know break my rules. Aha. Yes, I can justify it. I'm going to go pick it up. Bouncing Surge is going to represent the Lightning Rod. Which, as far as I can tell, the only place the Lightning Rod even exists is in Breath of the Wild. But you know what? Good enough.
Alright, so now we've got Master Sword, Bombs, Bow, Boomerang, Lightning Rod. I'd say so far that's working out pretty nicely, eh? Eh? Don't lie to us, you can even remember you can even remember that there was a lightning rod. And whereas there is some truth to that, keep in mind that I never said I couldn't look it up. Okay, if I can if I can afford it by the end, this one's easy. Exploding fireball is the fire rod. That's of course if I can afford it. Uh, what, what is any of this crap? Oh, oh my goodness. So, Glass Cannon is a maybe. It would have been it would have been less of a maybe, but But I also couldn't I also couldn't exactly afford to pick up the let you guys fight it out. These are some upset birds. Though I imagine what they're doing is they're just trying to communicate. Not necessarily with each other, just in general. When a bird is screaming and squawking like my birds are doing right now, it's not necessarily a sign that they're not content or that they're like super angry. It could just be that they're communicating. But there is also an equal an equal chance that they are try, just trying to get my attention. Yay! Oh my god, my aim is garbage. Yeah, what else is new then? There we go. Now we're looking a little better. And, and, you know, fair is fair, I did just wake up from a nap, so they're used to everything being, being, like, really quiet, and then I wake up, all of a sudden I'm making all sorts of noise and going, hey! Now they're going, hey, why didn't you do that around us? Get over here! Make us feel better about our existence! Like, I, and I will, guys, as soon as I'm done recording. There we go. By the way, have I seen... Yes, apparently I have, but... I don't know, was... what Anders selling really so unmemorable that I couldn't even remember seeing him? Or, is this, or was I just not thinking? I'm going to attribute it to not thinking, because now that I think about it, he had Jade's Chakra Locket. And yeah, I want that. And to be fair, he's got a lot of good stuff here. I like memory chain mail. I don't know how to do. It's a wonderful defensive relic. I was hoping to have another ally temporarily. Oh well. Oh, Violent Thornbreaker, what could you possibly be? Oh god. I could say it's maybe a sand rod or... I don't know, honestly though, I think it'd be better if I didn't take it. Just because it's leaving a lot to be desired at the moment. 
My current build does not support Violent Thornbreaker very well. <laughs> I am taking Glass Cannon because I am also going to have have some very good defense in the way of Jade's Chakra Locket, my be improved Evade Chance, and Memory Chain Mail. So I think we can afford we can afford Glass Cannon. I just need to you know not play like garbage. <laughs> Tee -hee -hee. Okay, yeah, him resisting most of my attacks is not helping my cause. Oh, hey, Magma Rush. Awesome. Yeah! Did him in with bombs. Okay, so this would also be a lightning rod. Oh no, it's temporary. I'll probably find something better because I would like to be able to, uh, to diversify what I'm attacking with. Or in this case, just find something completely different because, of course, the Wonder Twins are going to resist it. And now you know the real reason why Link carries a carries a bow. You know, to diversify his skills in his portfolio. Yeah, sure, whatever. But the real reason is so he can like slap fuckers off the off the side of a bridge from a distance. Wouldn't that be the same as diversifying his equipment portfolio? All right, you know what? Stop trying to make sense right now. Thank you, Gust Boomerang. You've always been a good friend. Alright, Lotus Froststone would definitely be a good defense, seeing as my primary source of damage at the moment is kinda close range. But we'll see how we're feeling towards the end. We're probably going to want to probably going to want to upgrade or the birds are going nuts. We're gonna probably gonna want to upgrade or acquire new arcana. So we'll just kind of see what, what ends up happening in the long run here. Take that. Just telling you, Lightning Rod. Alright, awesome, huh? awesome throw. Aim is top notch. Have I mentioned lately that I love the Magma Mine? It's one of those Dash Arcana that you don't really understand why it's on Dash, and now that I'm using it here, I can confidently say, I don't know why it's on Dash, but it's it serves a purpose, and that, that purpose is very much unlike any other Dash Arcana, it's just... If you, if you, just, if you happen to remember it, it's a great, it's a great trap. 
it can it does so so much to help out to help out your run like it really just confuses me why it's a dash arcana which is that that actually makes it more forgettable I think the whole point of it, the whole point of it, and what the devs must have been thinking is, drop it behind you, set it up as a trap, and there you go. All right, so I'm gonna upgrade Bouncing Surge, and you might think that this one's a bit of a stretch, but I'm gonna take Prickly Ballet. There we go, and the item I am going to claim that this is most, this is most akin to is the Dominion Rod. And those of you who are now familiar with your Zelda lore going, okay, you're really stretching on that one. That's not even a statue. Like I would understand if it I would understand if it were <clears throat> God, the chess knights. My memory is garbage today. I can remember Dominion Rod, but I can't remember the the chess knights arcana. Stalwart Defenders. Okay, got it now. So, but I mean, that's about the closest I can come to having a justification for Prickly Ballet, so... You know, you might think, okay, you're really just full of it, and you know what? Yeah, maybe. But, you know, find me another thing that Prickly Ballet could be aside from me conjuring levers out of the desert sands, and I will... I will hear you out, but I mean, even if I have to say that for some reason it's, you know, levers attacking enemies, it's... They, even that's still a justification. In a way. But you can't conjure levers with any item in the Zelda series that I know of. You know, again, we don't we don't necessarily need logic here. Yeah, punches lights out. Oh, you know what? That works too. Thank you, Lightning Rod. But, I mean, it kind of works if you use it on the grounds of I'm using the Dominion Rod on this cactus statue, and all of a sudden it's dancing. We got a dancing cactus statue. I mean, it's very loose ground, but I mean, come on, it's, it's what I got to work with. Yeah, slap the crap out of him. <laughs> I love it. And I'm sorry, but I still gotta take you out. The room won't open until I do. Hey, now I don't even have to worry about the Mimic, because Mimic is gonna help me out with some of my dirty work. Same with... Same with Mr. Cyclops over there. Awesome. See, that was... That room was perfectly constructed for me to show off how Mentis Imperium can work for you. And then, you know, charm the wall with it because... You know, you, you don't have anything better to do with it now, do you? I mean, that might have seemed like I just missed horribly, but... Hey, you never... You never know when you're gonna need to charm a wall. It's important shit, I'm telling you. Yeah, 
Hey Iris, I'm gonna need to ask you if you can help me out by upgrading my frost blades. At least, at least let me end this run with the tempered sword. Would be nice. Eh. I'm trying to get him to step on to you know activate my trap, but oh well. Ow! What am I doing? Alright, so, how's the Zelda run going so far? Hopefully all of them, Hopefully all of you are satisfied with what you're seeing so far. It's not just been, you know, a flimsy excuse for... for strange items in Arcana. Hold on, we gotta disrupt this. There we go. Here! Yes, I know that. I know it would have taken. I know it took longer to let that happen than to just, you know, step in and do the job myself. But you know, sometimes it just feels good to make your enemies do that. All the crap that the more difficult enemies gave you, and now you can turn them to your side. You know, sometimes it just feels nice to do that. Ow. And then completely forget what you were doing, it clobbered. That works, even looks even looks like the thing. For those of you who aren't boned up on your Fantastic Four lore, and it's also about one of the most one of the easiest things, and trust me, I'm not a huge Marvel Comics fan, so sorry to those of you who are expecting to Expect me to get a little bit of an exposition dump. No, I'm just gonna say the thing is a member of the Fantastic Four, ba ba da da ba da doobity doobity. And also, if you're planning on watching one of the Fantastic Four movies, do us a favor, or do yourself a favor, and, you know, don't. It's just easier that way. Okay, I see. The, I see Aura over here, and yes, that would work out as a. That would work out as a beautiful homage to Navi, but it, when you have Journal of Midas, how can you not take Dagger of Midas? All right, we're going, we're going, we're going with the synergy instead of with the fairy this time. So fret not; we will come back to the fairy later if we can afford it. Lightning Rod! Dominion Rod! I don't care if it's cheating, I'm calling it the Dominion Rod. He's still working with the base Master Sword here, though. Could, could help me out at least a little bit. You knew I was going back for the Fairy. Alright, who are we up against now? Well, it's obviously Flame Empress Zeal, what are you talking about? No, I think this is more like Volvagia's Avatar. Come on, this is a Zelda themed one, you didn't think I was going to try to link it somehow like that? I could say that my constantly trying to hit her with the charm arrow is not only not only a little bit silly, but perhaps a little on the you know uncouth side. I'm gonna say, hey, I have a bow and arrow, I gotta use it. Besides, you never know; it might it might work one of these days. Ah, here we go. Earthen Aegis. I was wondering if I was going to get a chance to link up the Hylian Shield at all. So, yeah, Earthen Aegis is the Hylian Shield. 
in case I didn't make that plainly obvious. It would have been the same thing if it had been Audra's Charge. That's another, you know, form of Hylian Shield. Or just one of the more interesting shields from Breath of the Wild, although, let's be fair, the only one anyone cares about is, of course, the Hylian Shield, just because of how versatile and near indestructible it is. Not completely indestructible, though, so it's... A little bit of a missed opportunity there, if you ask me. But I mean, amongst all of the other things that Breath of the Wild did right, I don't think anyone is going to be at all upset with one tiny missed opportunity to subvert the weapon metal, or to subvert the durability system. Or rather, maybe someone will be upset by that, because frankly, it's one of the systems in the game that everyone hates the most. And again, do I get it? Sure. I understand why people are upset by the durability system. It, it may, it's a system that is kind of designed to make you not want to use your best weapons in combat, because you'll be fighting a Lionel and all of a sudden, boop, and your best weapon just gets smashed in the middle of a fight, and you're stuck going, oh, well, now what? Now, I do feel as though, because of that system, it did get me to look at some other things in a light that I wouldn't have beforehand. And you might be thinking, okay, he's just shilling for the stupid weapon durability system. No, I'm serious. It really got me to, one, go back to other locations to restock on weapons, so it got me to... It got me to learn the to learn the map a lot better, for one. And two, it got me to appreciate the 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 strengths, weaknesses, and proper usages of the other weapons. So the weapon durability system has a place, but I think they could have at least made some of the weapons a little bit more durable. It would be nice. Because I, I am in, I am of the camp of belief where the weapons are a little too limited. Yeah, Mister Electric Knight, you see, you see how it feels when you can't fight back because just one person's frame data is always ridiculous. Yeah, see how that works. You know, Joker, Zero Suit Samus. Oh, come on, we all know that everyone who plays Smash secretly mains Joker. I don't. Like, I really don't. I... Mm -hmm. I mostly play ridiculous characters. I play King DDD. I also like two of the three incarnations of Link. I am not the biggest fan of Toon Link. But regular Link and Young Link? Ooh, I will play them all day. The point that I'm getting at is just because a character has some has strengths that are generally seen as good enough to make you best character in the game, it doesn't mean everyone uses that character. Frank fact of the matter is, Joker is just not very good in my hands. I prefer characters that have like somewhat trickier setups or I also like characters with abnormal range, so you can imagine how I feel about Min Min. Now, I don't know where Min Min falls on the tier list. I don't necessarily care all that much right now. The reason why I bring it up is because I'm, I get the feeling that there are two, tra two trains of thought when it comes to Min Min. And train of thought number one is, yeah, but she's got so many glaring weaknesses that her that her strengths look, look small by comparison. And there's everyone else who's going, yeah, you make that you make that same excuse for Joker's frame data? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're just full of it. And ooh, 
healthcare card. What does that do? You get a discount on health potions. All right. I mean, yeah, it's a little disappointing. I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more, a little bit more useful than that. But you know, I can't say that I'm, I can't say that I'm super upset about it in general. Okay, so turns out I might need to use that health care card because Counter Rogue just destroyed my ass. I'll take it, but I mean, I get the feeling there's very little chance I'm getting out of that, getting out of the fight with the twins without taking some damage. I have one Lightning Arcana. Is this worth it? I'm going to say no, probably not. And this just decreases chances at getting smashed by a follow-up. I don't know, I think I'm going to hold out and see if there are better, huh? better relics on the next floor. Get ready! You're, it's a ghoul. Don't they have, like, four hit points? Why is, why is that one got the durability of a Super Saiyan? I mean, in comparison to the rest of his kin, I should say. There we go. But, I mean, I guess that does lead into the question of curiosity. What, what do you all think about Min Min and Smash? Now, when I was playing ARMS, I found myself kind of, I found myself really liking Min Min, not just because she's, you know, a, a cute blonde that acts as sort of like wish fulfillment for those of us who like care, who like, you know, strong women, but also I just found her to be an interesting character. A character with a, hum, with a humble background, a, you know, noodle shop employee, who happens to have this, spe this special skill that she can, that she can use to better herself. So, hey, why the hell not? It just, ha just so happens our, our Lady of Noodles knows how to fight, so put it, put it to good use. Okay, am I just not worthy of the Master Sword? Is that why I haven't seen an upgrade for it? I shouldn't even, I shouldn't even gotten the pendants to pull out the original. Or maybe what this is telling me is that I don't have the Master Sword. Maybe what I have is the... Maybe what I have is the Kokiri Sword, and the second sword is the Razor Sword. Yeah, we'll take that. Alright, getting kind of tired of getting my ass kicked. Well then stop getting your ass kicked. Not always that easy. There's one thing that this run doesn't exactly have going for it is... Mm -hmm, is, an easy, is an easy way to handle tons of melee enemies. Don't get me wrong, there are some ways, sure, but... This run really wasn't designed for... Really wasn't designed well for 
for dealing with lots of enemies at once who all like to fight at melee range. Dominion Rod doing some good work here. Still say it's not the Dominion Rod. Now, well, to be fair, I can't think of what else it would be. So I mean, maybe someone in the comments below can tell me what the prickly ballet is supposed to be, if not the Dominion Rod. I do like I do kinda like the idea of the bubble slaps, but I can't justify what it would be. So sorry. Alright, so one thing we know for certain is that Navi is blue, so maybe Naya is supposed to be Navi. Um, so what is Aura supposed to be? Is she Tattle? Is she Tail? She's certainly not Fi or Midna. useful than this. Greased boots. Yeah, I think that's more useful. And this can just get the fuck out of my inventory. Here we go. Alright, I get, I got wrecked over this over the course of these last couple of floors, so I'm taking that. Yeah, 285 damage, good lord. Won't the goddesses bless me with a heart container? I probably should have put on the Aegis ring, but I didn't think about it at the time. And it's really hard to justify doing that in the, mi in the middle of a fa fast-paced combat. Oh, God damn it! I did not think that through clearly enough. You know, I think the big problem I'm having I'm having right now may legit be Mentis Imperium. Because it's just not doing enough to control the field right now. Why are you still alive? Go away.
There we go. Alright, we... Oh, how did that happen? Lightning rod! Oh, shit. This is the fight between Link and Rivali that we were all hoping for in Breath of the Wild just because that guy was such a dick. And it's not that Rivali didn't mean well, it's just that he was, you know, he was letting his pride get in the way. Wow, we have to go into the last fight with the friggin' with the friggin' fighter sword, y'all. What the fuck? Alright, well. That is not as useful as this. Which is going to make that more useful. And yeah. Alright, so Kokiri Sword and Razor Sword it is. We don't even get to try out the Gilded Sword. Alright, let's real quick. There. Yeah, I think the shields are a much better fit for the for if we're for a fight where things can come at you from all directions. There we go. All right. Yeah, we got a sword in one hand, a shield in the other, and then a bomb in the other, and then, and then a dominion rod and a lightning rod. How do you even have that many arms? I'm dumb. Okay, game, could you like could you like allow me to walk? Yeah, there's one time where where my bombs did not help. So it's kind of a low damage run here, I'm noticing. Yeah, how exactly did you... Like, maybe I'm just blind, but it looks like I should have... looks like I should have been able to dash out of the way of that. I don't know, maybe my brain just isn't working. I'm gonna go with my brain isn't working. Maybe when... It... Maybe what happened is I saw a different part of the attack and got confused, you know, and then frame data and blah, 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 blah. Doesn't matter, all we know is that Link won the challenge, but... And honestly, it seemed like our boy kind of had a tough time. Maybe we should have gone with a shield from the beginning instead of with the bow. What it's telling me is that even though Mentis Imperium is better, it's still not great by any stretch of imagination, bruh. But that's it. That's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And don't worry, I won't forget about the Luigi-themed run. That'll probably be coming in the next few days. Want to do a few other runs? Let's see. let the whole theme run thing just kind of run its course a little. And by run its course, I mean take a break from a few themes, just do a few normal runs, and then we'll settle in with the uh, with the themed run and see see how we portray the fa the famous player too. But in the meantime, I appreciate all of you for for your suggestions, for your support. Thank you very much for that. Please continue supporting me; it means a great deal to me. 
And I will see you guys in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.